afternoon, guys. Same process as always. Mike's on either side of the room. You can please introduce yourself by name and organisation, and we'll set an embargo towards the end for half ten on Saturday night. Good afternoon, Pep. James from Sky. Nice to see you. Um, I think after a performance like that against Spurs, which was so good, what on earth did you work on in training this week? Sorry, what? A lot of managers, yeah. after a game or a defeat or a draw, would have lots to work on. Your, your display was so good against Tottenham Hotspur. Was there anything to work on this week in training? That was good. Yeah, we, we're training good as, as always. So, uh, no, no, no different. But training in Manchester and not Spain? We love Manchester. Was that a group decision? We love Manchester. No, no, we decided to stay here. We, it was an option, but at the end, we decided to stay here. We have everything here, and we prepare uh, the team for the next two games before the international break. And in terms of your squad, is, is this the most competition that you've had for places since you've been here in Manchester? In terms of making it difficult for you to pick a team? Well, one, one of yeah, one of them. Yeah, when we arrive, you can make a sign, but you have uh, players like. Uh, all periods and of course we second season we change the third and four not much and of course every season we stay with the players that they want to stay we want them uh, stay so yeah it's really good but you do you look at it and think this is the strongest set of players that i've had since i've been in in manchester it's one of them yeah I, mean, I will not say that previous seasons the team was not good or the schedule was not good so all the seasons i, I never said differently so every season I had an exceptional player so no complaint okay Good. hi Pep Ian Beto ISN TV what are your thoughts on Bournemouth start to the season and where are their strengths in their team well we know we know each other quite well for the fact is the same managers since uh, four years ago. Um, they had the same points as us. After two two games, they went away in new promoted. It's always difficult to win a new promoted team in the first games of the season. And it's a team defending incredibly well. The last games always was difficult because they defend. They they set up deep with a five four one or five three two. I don't know tomorrow uh, Sunday. Eddie is going to do. Um, they attack really well the channel set pieces, so always is that tough. There is always tough. Hi Pep, Jonathan from Goal. Um, just on, on VAR, obviously it affects the strikers more than anything in terms of, of goals being disallowed and someone like Gabriel Jesus had two goals disallowed this season, was sent off for Brazil after VAR. Have you spoken to them about trying to stay calm in those situations and how to how to deal with that? It's calm. To stay calm when a goal is disallowed, particularly for a striker. Guy, this is an emotional game when you score a goal in that way, and is this allowed it? What what should be his reaction? So of course it's it's sad, like everybody, but uh, his reaction was normal and. Uh, and didn't do anything exceptional in that case. So I didn't see uh, Rahim last season or in this case uh, Gabriel be being upset. So so it was a goal. The reaction from Tottenham players show us that not even them know what was disallowed. It. So the reaction is goal and everybody celebrated and the, even the Tottenham players accept it was goal and after disallowed it and the players Tottenham said why they disallowed it because they didn't know it so at the end it's what it is and the reaction in our players was was normal we had another chance after one minute with Raheem in the institute should control the ball so we had another option but is there is there a danger it could have, could affect players if they have a goal disallowed it happened in, in in West Ham again, so it's it's yeah work on that. So what happened? We have to move on, keep going. So it's done. So we are decide that we have to accept it and move forward. We cannot we can complain and be sad in a short time, but after keep going. Pep, Fred Caldeira, Sport Interactive Brazil. Uh, still on the VAR, uh, Mohamed Salah said this week that sometimes the feelings that uh, VR is too fair, like mistakes and errors are part of football and 
have always been. So I don't know if like you share this view or like the, the, the sense of fairness and justice has been too altered after VAR. No, the reason why is to be more justice, to be more fair. It's the only reason I accept I like VAR and I think at the end it's going to happen. So that is the first season and that's normally it's happened, but that is the sense of because the VAR exists to be more fair to justice and help to the referees to the job. But if the, the VAR must be mis mistake, it's better than do that. But I think at the end it's going to be it right. So I, I had the same opinion, you know, from the beginning. I support this, this technology, so at the end it's going to be well. But I think during the process it's going to adjust the, the best for, for this system. Hi, Pep. Sam Lee from The Athletic. Uh, the players chose David Silva as the captain uh, for this season. Um, what, could you tell us what he's like in the dressing room around other players? What is he like as the captain? Yeah, nice guy. He's a, a normal guy, like a uh, lot of experience. He knows exactly what the team needs, what he has to do. So every captain is different than the other one because every person it is, so personality, so... I didn't say anything to David, and I'm not going to say anything because they have to do what what, what he believes. So what we is in the page of the page is the same with, as a captain. Does it matter to you what kind of personalities the captain has? No, because they choose. I, I'm not. Uh, I'm not involved in that. So they have to choose the captain to represent the whole, whole team. So it's the decision. When it came to the t uh, Spurs game last week. You picked um, Ilkay Gundogan instead of David. Is there any particular reason for that? Is there any? No. Was it? I said. I said. I said uh, before every weekend when every all the squad is fit, it's going to have this question: Why I choose Bernardo and not Riyad when Riyad was the best player in the previous weekend, not just in our game, you know, the the all the Premier League. Why was not selected? So don't tell me the reason why I select another one because I believe for that game is. It's better. David can play against Tottenham. He can play with all the games and Riyadh as well. So it's it's, it's where it is. And I don't have alternative, nice alternative for the players that don't play. Sorry to ask another question, but I don't think Andy's here. So are there any injuries this weekend? <laughs> no, if Andy's not here, I cannot answer this question. <laughs> it's his job. It's not your job. <laughs> Sorry, Sam. Hi, Pep. Is Alex Zinchenko fit tomorrow, first one day? Because he had like a little thigh problem last weekend. Uh, yeah, he's, he's, he's fit. But it's a question for Andy. <laughs> and no, no, he's fit, he's fit. In training, good, perfectly. It was cram after the game. It was so demanding game against Tottenham. We had, with a few, few preparation, those incredible tough games, and Liverpool and Tottenham, and the people at the end uh, was tired. So if we were more clinical in the in the both boxes, the game, the last 20 minutes, would have been easy. But going to two in that position is always so demanding, and 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 the games against top teams always physicality is tough. And today still we are not in the you know normal process, you know, to be games every three days and everybody the rhythm is already there, so it's normal. It was cram, but it's okay. And how how close is Cancelo to making a debut? Uh, he can play. He's ready. I, I think he's in the standing and training, and we talk a lot with him and. Every training session, he sees what we want in the meetings, in the videos, analysis, and we do. But uh, no, now one week, uh, one game a week, the people have time to recover. But when the start, now can play tomorrow and Sunday, sorry, next week, and after international break, come Champions League, Carabao Cup, and everybody will be involved. So, but the first feeling we have is really good. You pay attention is incredible, professional, and a lot of quality with the ball. Pep, if uh, David Silva plays or is involved on Sunday, it'll be his 400th game for the club. Could you sum up his influence he's had during his time and what special talent he's been? I admire a lot. What I admire the most is the fact when when this kind of records or records or numbers. So when you to do 400 games, this means many years, many bad moments, many good moments, being there day by day, week by week. And I admire a lot. So you can make a good year, a good season, but... Almost 10 seasons here doing that. It's just incredible. Big congratulations. Uh, I think all the City fans, the supporters, me included, is a privilege, you know, what he has done in this club. And hopefully the last season is going to be here. He can help us, you know, to achieve 
or at least be who 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 he is and, and play the way he want to play and and try to make him happy. Hi, Pep. Paul Hurst from the Times. Just going back to David. Obviously, you've worked with a lot of really good midfielders in your time. Is he one of the most kind of technically gifted players that you've worked yeah. with? He's one of the most incredible intelligent players moving in the small, small spaces, which is the most difficult thing. You know, with the space, everybody takes time, gives time, so you can take the right decision. But he's really good in the small spaces. He's one of the best I ever, I ever known. Yeah. I think a lot of people, when he came to English football, yeah. thought he wouldn't kind of fit in. But Me included. Is, is that kind of evidence that you can do it if you're, yeah. if you're like... But I think it's his character. It's not just the quality, he's moving in small spaces. I think he's, he's a huge competitor. Uh, in the training sessions, the games, in the field, he's, in the bad moments, how he's react. In a, he's in a yeah, huge competitor. So with his quality, specific quality, surviving the Premier League. So it's not easy for a long time. And he did it. He has to be so proud of himself a lot, what he has done. Uh, Pep, <coughs> Pep Neil, Neil from The Sun, yeah. you mentioned um, that you didn't think he would be his biggest success in English football. Why was that? Sorry? You said there that you didn't think he would be his biggest success when he first came to English football. Uh, David? Yes. Yeah, because he's a technical player, you know, he's not player the box to box. And my image from English football when I was outside, I said, oh, maybe he's going to suffer him. But I was I was happily happily wrong, so that it was my my first impression. But uh, obviously, from the beginning, because it's not the fact that David played good this season or two seasons ago. So all the period was here, playing with good with all the managers had before with Roberto, with Manuel, with me, with us. So is a. Uh, yeah, it's, it's really good, uh, honestly. So, but after I, I spoke with managers, like uh, he had in in Spain, and everybody speaks what after that afterwards I realize here. So, the people believe is a quality with the ball, but he has more than that. He's a, he's incredible. This feeling, a competitor, like a winner. It's not the case. Four Premier Leagues he wants, you know, and a lot of domestic uh, prices and and it's the same like this generation of players like Johar and and Vincent company and Sergio Aguero and and I would say many names you know you know which kind of names that helped you know this club to make a better position uh, and in, in in Premier League in Europe competition Pep Simon from the MEN. Uh, we've spoken about Cancelo coming in and challenging Kyle Walker, but has he shown you that he can challenge on the left hand side as well? Yeah, I can say, but in left we have Alex, we have Angelino, we have Mendy's coming back now, training all week with us, part of the training, but training and normally is using right and right. But he can play left because in Juventus playing left many, many times. Yeah, he can yeah. play on both sides. Is uh, John Stones. And the winger too can play. He start for the winger. Uh, young ages, young stages. So he's a I'm playing for several positions, but normally we thought about them playing in full back because Kyle cannot play every week or every three days. It's impossible. And is John Stones fit for the weekend? Do we know no. how long he's out for? No, no, he's not fit for this weekend. Or or next week or mm -mm. We'll see. We we'll see. Pep Luke Edwards from the Telegraph. Um, you seem to be pretty content with life and the way the season started. Is, is there anything that you worry about that keeps you up at night? Is there worry about? And anything you worry about that keeps you up at night? No. Concern about Mormons, but no, no, I don't complain. The, train, the team training good, so I would like to have six points. But the way we played and many things we, we did, I'm so more than satisfied. So hopefully the team is fit. I want the players fit, no injuries. That is my only concern right now.